Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carl Simon, it is time to talk about Carl. And we're going to be showing you some Carl sneak peek gameplay. We're also going to do a complete breakdown of his stats and mechanics, as well as compare him to every other brawler in the game. Hope you enjoy! Now for starters guys, Carl is a super rare brawler that will be released sometime in the middle of March. For his pickaxe attack, Carl throws his pickaxe like a boomerang and he can throw it again once it returns back to him. It has an attack width similar to Nita's, but the range is almost two tiles longer than hers at eight tiles, which is the same as Terra's range. It can deal 896 damage at max level on the way to the enemy as well as on the way back, dealing damage to as many targets as it touches throughout that time. If you are hit at max range, both ticks of damage will be instantly applied as if three of Bo's arrows all instantly blew up in your face. This is a total of 1,792 damage from a single attack, which is enough to take out Barley, Crow, Piper, Rico, and Spike in two full hits. It's also enough to take out Bo, Brock, Colt, Dynamite, Gene, Jesse, Leon, Mortis, Nita, Penny, Poco, and Shelly in three full hits. It's enough to take out other Carls, Daryls, and Pams in four hits, and it's enough to take out Bull, El Primo and Frank in five full hits. Now, Carl only has one ammo, but it is instantly refilled the second that it returns to Carl. Carl is very vulnerable to enemy players when his pickaxe is out and flying around, so that is definitely something to consider. Carl has a normal reload speed of 1.9 seconds. If you run away from your attack after throwing it, then that actually increases the time for the pickaxe to return, thus slowing down his reload speed to 2.3 seconds. And if you run toward the direction that you're throwing his attack, then it will reach Carl sooner, which slows down his reload speed to 1.6 seconds. Additionally, if Carl's pickaxe hits a wall before reaching maximum distance, it will return back to Carl early, which will also speed up his reload speed. If Carl is right next to an enemy who is then pinned up against a wall, Carl can use the wall to attack over and over and over again ridiculously fast. This gives him the fastest possible reload speed out of any of the brawlers in the game, where it takes only 0.7 seconds for him to throw out one attack and then be able to throw out a second. This is even faster than Bull with his star power activated. Now, even though this is a strange situation, this actually makes it so that he has a higher damage per second than Pam or El Primo by 40%. Granted, at the point where Pam is finished unloading her third complete shot before she has to like reload the other one, the damage is actually very similar. The only brawler that can out DPS Carl in this unique situation is a bull with his star power activated. Carl can also throw his pickaxe to one side of a wall and then move so that it will actually attack through a wall. And in Brawl Ball, Carl is the only brawler that can kick the ball without consuming ammo. For his super called Tailspin, Carl throws out his axe around in circles for 2.4 seconds, dealing 560 damage up to 10 times to as many targets as are within the area. This gives Carl's super the ability to do 5,600 damage, which is enough to completely take out out every single brawler in the game other than Pam, other Carls, Bull, Frank, and El Primo. On top of dealing damage, his super actually gives him the fastest movement speed in the game, which you can see right here when comparing Leon and Carl using their super at the exact same moment. Carl does have a faster movement speed. One thing to note is that Carl can actually activate his super even when he does not have his pickaxe because he's throwing it out. It takes six hits in order for Carl to charge up his super, which uh, against one enemy player, if he's able to hit them twice, that's three full attacks. His super can actually recharge the majority of his super, but it does require two more hits or one complete attack for him to recharge his super if he only uses his super against one target. But if there are multiple targets, he can recharge his super with just one super and just keep on spinning. Carl's super will not get stopped when he gets knocked back by brawlers that have a super like El Primo's. They will knock him back, but he will keep on spinning and he will be able to continue doing damage also. If Frank stuns him, nothing will stop him from spinning. He will continue to spin, but he will not be able to move until the stun wears off. If Gene tries to super on him, he will be pulled, but he will continue to spin, and then Gene will just get an ax to the face. When Carl is using his super, he is immune to slows like Spike's super. However, he will still take damage. In Brawl Ball, 
Carl is not able to pick up the ball when his super is activated. For Carl's star power, power throw, he throws his pickaxe out with more speed, allowing it to travel faster and then also return faster to him. This will actually increase his reload speed as well as increase his damage per second. Additionally, it will make it diff more difficult for enemy players to dodge a well-aimed attack. One thing to note though is that it does decrease the amount of time his axe is out there, which is actually a slight decrease to his total control, but I think that the other benefits from his star power are well worth it. The developer build that I'm showing you gameplay from automatically maxes out the account, so I'm actually not able to show you gameplay of his star power versus a Carl without his star power. Carl has 6,160 HP, which is the same amount of HP as Pam at max level. This makes him a very solid pseudo tank who's also able to attack with a very wide axe from a long range away. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and take a look at Carl's stats and compare them to every other brawler in the game. Here is a beautiful graph that actually does that for us so you guys can actually get an idea there. The first thing I wanted to talk about is Carl's reload speed. Now in this graph, that's actually not showing you the reload speed of him right up next to the wall. It would even be more intense. This is his normal reload speed if he stays in one's position and does not move until that axe actually returns to him. As a reminder though, if he is not maxed out, he won't have his star power and his reload speed will actually rank him a little bit lower. As you can see, he has one of the best reload speeds in the game and one thing that is absolutely important to recognize with him is the fact that he does not have to fall back from enemy fire when he is wanting to reload his attack because he doesn't need to reload his attack, he just needs to get his axe back and then he can keep on attacking. That means that the only time that he'll have to fall back is when he actually needs to regain more HP, which he has plenty of, which means that he's gonna have a very good presence on the field. Now, Carl does have a relatively low attack potential with a single attack. Now, paired with his normal reload speed, his DPS is actually somewhere right in the middle of Spikes and Rico's. This is actually pretty impressive when you actually consider the fact that his attack is very wide and how much control it actually offers. Now if you look at Carl's range it doesn't seem particularly impressive but I do think that what is important to recognize here is the fact that he can actually take out squishy long-range brawlers like Rico, Piper, and Spike in only two hits. Even more impressive is to note that for the amount of damage that Carl can do at a distance he is one of the tankiest brawlers in the game. Pam is the only other brawler that has as much or more HP than Carl that can actually outrange him. But Pam's attack potential is greatly dispersed when she's attacking from a range while Carl's is actually strong no matter where it hits people from. Carl also has a very easy super to charge up, which means that he will have a lot of added mobility in order for him to get close, to get a kill, or even escape if he needs to. While he does have a lot of HP, he'll definitely need to be careful when using his super in order to get close to enemy brawlers because it doesn't last nearly as long as Leon's super. And at a close range, he actually has a very low burst potential because he just throws out an attack, he does about 1,000 damage, and then he has to wait forever for the axe to return back, at which point the enemy brawler is going to easily be able to dodge. So unless he's actually right next to a brawler and be, is able to land a lot of damage onto them with his super, my guess is that his super will be best used uh, instead of for additional damage and more for uh, getting somewhere or getting away from somewhere. Now overall, I think that Carl's going to be a moderately, moderately strong brawler. I don't know if he'll be OP, but if I were to make a guess as to where he would land, it would be more on the strong side than on the weak side of the scale. I think he's going to be a great counter against squishy brawlers no matter what range they're at, but particularly the brawlers that do thrive at a further distance away. I think that he's going to struggle against some of those tankier brawlers that require a lot of burst and consistent damage in order to take them out, which Carl just doesn't really have. And as for game modes, I wouldn't be surprised to see him as a decent gem carrier in gem grab, or even maybe even a strong uh, left or right lane brawler in gem grab. I think that he'll be decent in showdown and probably also decent in, in duo showdown where he does have quite a bit of range and a lot of HP. I think he'll actually thrive pretty well in bounty though uh, he will rely on having other teammates that can deal a lot of consistent damage in order for him to really succeed. His area control at a distance and the fact that he is able to do a ton of splash damage near an enemy safe is going to make him very strong in heist if you ask me. I do not think that he'll be super Super great at brawl ball though it will be interesting to see if the fact that his ability to shoot the ball without actually using ammo will make him particularly strong in the mode or not I don't know that's that's one game mode that I'm not 100% sure on and when it comes to siege I think that he'll be a, a pretty decent brawler maybe not the best 
uh, but a solid option. Now, if you guys are looking for more info on Carl, Lex actually did a really great video where he put Carl up against every single other brawler in the game to see how the individual interactions actually work out. Now that this video is about over, I highly recommend watching it for some great insight on Carl. I'll put a link in the comment section below. And before you leave, I really do want to know what you guys think about Carl, okay? I've been able to play him, but you guys have not. From this video, what do you think of him? Do you think that he's very strong? Do you think that he's a little bit weaker? I would love your guys' insight. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're excited to get your hands on Carl. I, for one, am really excited that he's just going to be super rare and that we have a little bit of time for me to save up some boxes to max him out. If you do have any questions regarding Carl, feel free to drop a comment on the video and uh, make sure you like your favorite questions. And then I'll try and do my best to answer some of the most liked questions. I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And for now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.